to the BYU TV Sports post-game recap. BYU defeats Santa Barbara in five. What a match between second-ranked BYU and fifth-ranked UC Santa Barbara. Two of the top three teams in the MPSF. BYU needed to continue to win six regular season matches. BYU could go three and three. Well, they get one of those three wins tonight in, up, well, not upset fashion, but comeback fashion at home. It almost felt like upset fashion, the way Santa Barbara was playing tonight. BYU dodged a bullet. They got down after taking the first set handily. They get down the second and the third, and they come back in the fourth, and boy, they went off in the fourth and the fifth. It was fun. Taylor Sanders started blue hot, going <laughs> seven for seven in set one. He couldn't be stopped. Yeah, he was on fire. Just absolutely flawless volleyball. Starts it off. His first two swings are just little roll shots or tips over the block. And then after that, boy, his shoulder lit up. In the second and third sets, it was all Gauchos, 25-22 and 25-21. They served the ball extremely effectively, passed really well, and were huge on the block. Yeah, their pin hitters aren't huge. They're like 6-4 or so. But boy, they are effective, and they were able to get it done tonight. Then in set four, BYU needing a spark off the bench. Matt Underwood was that man. A career high, 625 hitting percentage, 11 kills tonight for Matt. Yeah, as good as Daubert is, tonight just was not his night. Matt came in and just played unbelievable and That volleyball. was the match point right there. Yeah, as you can see, Matt just took over once he came in. Final stats look like this as Underwood has 11 kills and BYU comes back to win 15 and a half blocks for the Cougars. Yeah, they were trailing in blocks at their own home. And then finally in that fifth set, man, they took over at the net and uh, ended up getting a few more than Santa Barbara. But the hitting percentage, all of it, all the way around the court, Santa Barbara, when they were, or when BYU was on fire, boy, they were unstoppable. After the match, Lauren Frankham spoke with Taylor Sander. Taylor, so we meet again. 27 kills, 11 blocks, tied your season high. How does it feel having a performance like that? You know, it feels good. I mean, we, were, we had to battle that match. And uh, so many guys stepped up. Stepped up. D.Y., he's a senior, and uh, he played big for us. And, you know, it was a battle. They're a really, really, really nice team. And, uh, you know, we were lucky to get away with the win there. So much resiliency in the team. It looked like you guys lost it just a little bit but came back. What was the difference between the sets? We just had to battle. And, uh, you know, it was just a couple little plays that went our way or went their way, and that was uh, that was the set. And so, you know, we just had to keep battling and, uh, you know, focus on our side. You have some tough matches coming up down the stretch, Hawaii, UCLA, and then UC Santa Barbara again. What do you do to prepare for those? You know, just mentally prepare and, uh, you know, just go out and, and trust yourself and play the way we know how to play. Congratulations, Taylor. Thank Thanks. You so much. Thanks, Lauren, and what a performance from Taylor Sander. Not every match is easy, although BYU's made it look that way at home. They've won 22 in a row, won all 10 uh, at home this season. Hadn't lost a set at home since January, but BYU pulled out a gutsy victory tonight over a really good team. They did, and, and it was important for them because I mentioned it uh, during the broadcast, if, if they lose tonight, it opens the door for all their opponents that they're going to see. They're going to see UCLA tomorrow night, Hawaii twice at home. Then they're going to go to UCSB and UCLA's home and play them there to finish out the season. They get a, lo a loss tonight. All of a sudden, they look a lot more vulnerable. But the way that they were to battle that out and, and get that W, that's, uh, that bodes well for them to close out the season. What a win for BYU. They'll have a couple of postseason matches at home, up to three, at least one. But tomorrow night, senior night for Taylor, Sander, Devin Young, and the boys as you look at the top four in the MPSF. Final, BYU wins in five. That'll do it for us on BYUtvsports.com.